Today we're going to show you something that could bring a whole new dimension to your 3D prints, integrating LEDs. <laughs> I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Build It and today I'm going to show you three easy ways you could wire LEDs for your 3D prints. These are perfect for beginners or anyone that just wants to integrate LEDs into your 3D prints without a huge hassle. We'll walk through each method step by step so you can add a little glow to your 3D prints. Now let's get started with the first build. There's a few things you're going to need to build this LED circuit. An LED, a resistor, a power source, and that's sort of your minimum requirement, but in this case, we're also going to use a switch and you're gonna need something to connect these components. Now, I'm gonna be using these little quick connects, which I really like using, but if you want, you could solder it, you could use heat shrink, you could use, basically this is almost the same thing as this, this is a, a, like a, a crimp, it's a butt splice, or if you really want, you could, use some tape, but I would recommend basically using a quick connect. That way you could sort of figure out what you want to build, how much wiring you're going to need, and then you could solder everything together once you have your components organized. Let's talk about a couple of things you're going to need to understand before you build your circuit. One is the amount of voltage the LED takes, and the other is the resistance. So what type of resistors are you going to need, and how many ohms are you needing? Now, I'm not going to sit there and explain the math behind it. I'm going to give you a quick chart that shows you what color LED needs what type of voltage and what type of resistance. The red LED has a forward voltage range of 1.8 to 2.2 volts. The orange and yellow LEDs have a forward voltage range of 2.0 to 2.2 volts. The green LED has a forward voltage range of 2.0 to 3.5 volts. And the blue and white LEDs have a forward voltage range from 3.0 to 3.5 volts. Now at 5 volts for the red, yellow, and orange LEDs, you would need a 150 ohm resistor. For the green, blue, and white LEDs, you would need a 100 ohm resistor. The other thing to know is on the LEDs, you have two wires. The longer wire is the anode, and that's the positive, and the shorter wire is the cathode, and that's the negative. Now let's get building the first project. So this is the simplest out of the three builds I'm going to show you. We're going to use this LED that actually has the resistor already wired into it. And what's really cool, not just that, is this is color coded, this wire, to the color of the LED. So for instance, this one's orange. We're going to use a quick connect and we're going to use a power source that actually already has a switch on it. So let's get our LED connected. We're going to connect the black and the orange, just connecting them to the same, black to black. And in this case, we're connecting the red to the orange. Okay, now let's put our batteries in here. Okay, and now we're just gonna hit our switch and turn on our LED. This is our second build. In this scenario, we have an LED with the resistor built in again. We have two quick connects. We have a power supply that does not have a switch, and we have an additional switch. In this case, we're just using a basic toggle switch, and we have obviously our batteries that are gonna go into our power supply. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up our in this case, the orange wire, and we're gonna hook up the black wire to the LED. Now, we're gonna hook the red wire to the orange wire. Then we're going to connect our black wire to our switch. and then our switch to the black wire on the LED. Now that's gonna control when we give power to the LED. Right now our toggle switch is off. Let's just put our batteries in here. And when we 
hit our toggle switch on, our LED lights up. You're probably asking what about that LED and that resistor we started with. Well, the next build is going to incorporate both of those, and it's also going to use a breadboard, and it's going to be powered by an Arduino. So now we're going to build an LED circuit. Using an Arduino, we're gonna, you could power the Arduino with a battery if you wanted, but we're gonna actually just connect it to a USB cable because eventually in this series, we're going to start coding where we can program these lights. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna take this red pin and we're gonna connect it to our five volt on the um, Arduino. And then we're going to put that into are positive. Let's do it this way so you guys can see. I guess I could do it on the other side too, but we're gonna put it into our positive. Then we're gonna take our black wire and we're gonna connect that to our ground. Just wanted to make sure that was completely in. We're gonna put our LED where we want our LED and where this is important is in the columns we want it to be in, right? So let's just say, let's just put it here for instance. And remember where our positive and our negative is. Remember the positive is the longer one and the negative is the shorter one. So we're just gonna stick our LED right there for now. We may move it eventually. Now we're gonna take our switch. Where do we want our switch to be? I'm just gonna put our switch right here, and our switch is gonna straddle. I'm just gonna turn this this way, maybe easier for you guys to see. Um, the switch is gonna straddle this. Now, we also need to connect our resistor. Our resistor is gonna go from our switch into where our positive is. So it's gonna go into the same column, right? It doesn't have to be right under it, it just needs to be in the same column. So that's where our resistor is going. And there we go, we have our resistor inserted. Now we're gonna use these little jumper wires, which are no different than the wires that were on our other circuits, right? They're just connecting the electricity. So we gotta connect two wires. One is we need to connect it from the switch and hopefully I grab jumpers that are long enough. And that one's actually too long, so we're just gonna move this over real quick. And we're just gonna move our LED. And then we need to connect this to our ground. We're gonna run this from our ground to the same column that the negative is in, okay? Now we have everything wired up. So we have our switch, we have our LED, we have our wires, we have our resistor, we have our power and our ground. We have an Arduino. And now let's plug the Arduino into the USB. Okay, so let's power up our Arduino. And as we see now, the lights are on the Arduino. And now when we press the switch, our LED will light up. So basically we built the same circuit we built previously where we used a resistor, a switch, obviously some wires and an LED. But this one, instead of being powered by a battery, it's being powered by an Arduino and it's connected through a breadboard. So basically the breadboard and these little jumpers are creating the same circuits our other ones did. We're not doing any programming at this point, but it does build the same sort of circuit as you can see, and it's being powered by a USB. Now we could have also powered the Arduino with the plug, or we could have powered the Arduino even with like a nine volt battery, if that's what we wanted to do. But we just hooked it up to our computer, which is gonna power it, but it's also gonna be able to add code eventually to this Arduino in order for this LED to light up. For each of these builds, I'm gonna create a list of materials and put them in the description below. Adding LEDs doesn't have to be complicated and with these basics, you're ready to move on to more advanced techniques. Next up, wireless LEDs. This is gonna be fun. If you enjoyed this or you learned something new, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to Make or Build It so you won't miss the next video in the series. As always, I'd love to hear how you plan on integrating LEDs into your 3D prints, so leave your ideas in the comments below. For more on 3D printing, DIY, and maker projects, make sure you like and follow Make or Build It, and remember, keep on making. Thank you.